do your drawings feel stiff in need of that special something something well you are in luck because in today's episode we're going to talk about the line of action uh and this video is sponsored by Huion. thank you so much for sending me the canvas 22 pro and we're going to do the tutorial on this bad boy so to show you guys what goes on inside my head whenever i draw a character i have this invisible line that go that runs through the character's body it it actually uh helps me compose a character you know because if you take into account this line of action it's gonna make things more easy and it's gonna make your characters more alive you know what I mean so what's that red thing well it's called the line of action the line of action is an imaginary line that you can draw along the character's pose a character's body posture flows along this imaginary line of action flexible and dynamic line shapes tend to be arched you know like a letter C or letter S with the legs and hands either flowing along the lines or opposing it. So what I'm doing now are a couple of examples of how I see the lines of actions in my drawings. It's an incredible powerful thing that I don't see a lot of artists take advantage of and I really hope that you can take advantage of this thing because this line of action thing is gonna completely change how you draw. Gone are the days of just creating characters that are just standing there. I tell you, if you do this technique, you're gonna be a far better artist for it. Promise. Why don't you try it yourself? You don't necessarily need to create like a red line like all along your drawing. You just need to take it into account that there is this imaginary line on your drawing that helps the movement of the character. It's pretty easy once you get to know it. Well, now that you guys have an idea of what the line of action is, let's apply it, shall we? And let's draw a character using it. You know, I've been playing a lot of Apex Legends and I love this character. Her name is Loba. She's like a Sombra from Overwatch, but instead of stealing your data, she uh, steals your loot. And she's got some nice... Uh... She's got a nice staff. Step on me, please. There are times when artists focus on other things and forget about the power of line of action. It can get really tempting though, can it? Focused only on getting the renderings right? Without the proper foundation of a good pose, supplemented by a good line of action, it's like making a cake with only icing in it. It's not for everyone. It takes some while to get used to. But try and emphasize the line of motion found within your characters. Try not to obstruct the lines and even try to accentuate it. There was a time when my drawings were completely lacking that special something something. And it took me a while to figure it out. If only I knew what I knew now things would have been different. When I started taking into account the line of action in every drawing that I did and started simplifying things, my drawings became more readable. And I'm all for readability. I strongly believe that what makes a successful drawing is that which is discernible, even if it's a small thumbnail. After focusing on the line of action, now you gotta focus on the smaller lines of actions and those smaller lines of actions are there to accentuate the bigger one. You know when you run your hand on a carpet and the strands all point towards the direction where your hand went? Well, think of those strands as smaller lines of actions. Translate that into your drawing and those smaller lines of actions could be the hair, the clothes, the eyes, anything really. As long as it accentuates the bigger lines of actions, you're doing it right. When you add focus on that line of action, not only is it gonna make your drawings more dynamic, it's gonna make your characters have life on them. Too often do I see amazing rendered characters and the pose is just meh. You know who I'm talking about, right? You feel like getting called out? <laughs> just, just kidding. While drawing my girl Lobo over here, I took into account her line of action. Now, just because she's standing upright doesn't mean she doesn't have a strong line. You can bolster the pose however boring it might be by using the smaller lines of actions. Remember that running your hand on the carpet? Well, the strands are the lines on the hips, the flow of the hair, the way Loba's clothes accentuate parts of her body, things like that slowly add up. I invite you to think about the line of action and the smaller lines of actions the next time you draw something. Think of your drawing like you're arranging flowers. You know, the Japanese way of flower arrangement, Ikebana? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, it's an art form where flowers are arranged in such a way to accentuate all the other flowers. Nothing sticks out. Every flower has a purpose. I'd like for you to see art that way. All things should have purpose. 
and everything should play off of one another. I believe, in my opinion, that's what makes a successful drawing. Be loose with the lines as well and try not to be so stiff with it. When the lines are confident, your drawings look much nicer. Please be sure to check out my other videos where I talk about sketchy line art that looks like chicken scratches. When creating your lines, be confident and try not to overwork each and every line. I also talk about polishing and overworking a piece to the point where it feels like you're polishing a turd. Confident lines means there's a confident artist behind it. I can't count how many times I've seen an amazing art piece that turned me off because of how dirty the line art is. I mean, if it's part of your art style, more power to you, I, I guess. At least take my tip with a grain of salt, yeah? That doesn't sound right. To summarize my ramblings, always start with a strong line of action. Create smaller lines of actions to bolster the big line of action. Even if it's just a normal boring pose, accentuate as much as you can. You'd be surprised how far you can take it. Remember the carpet analogy. I know it's a very weird analogy, but it's the only thing I could think of at the moment. Maybe I should change it to uh, a fur analogy. Maybe it might, might make it sound a little bit better. The last one. Be loose with it. You know the hand motion you do when you do a check mark? The uh, swish and flick motion? Do that whenever you create the lines. And when it doesn't look good, Control Z is your friend. Trust me. When you do this technique, your lines are going to have more life to it. But the downside of it? You're going to be control Zing a whole lot. That, that's a trick though, isn't it? Make people think that you did your line art in just one fluid motion, but what they didn't know was that you've been swishing and flicking and control Zing for more than 30 times. What they don't know won't hurt him, am I right, fellow artists? <laughs> uh. <clears throat> so, now that we finished the drawing, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Loba from Apex Legends. A lady never kills and tells. A gone is like a beautiful woman. Hold her tight, or someone else will. Well, that's it for today's video. So uh, thank you so much to uh, Fuyon for sponsoring this video and sending me this bad boy, the Canvas 22 Plus. And uh, thank you so much to my wonderful people over at Patreon. Without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. And uh, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe down below, as per usual. And uh, by the way, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Go check the links out down below and I'll see you on the next one because I'm going to be playing Apex Legends. First Blood, Double Kill, Killing Spree.